what a fantastic job these guys did all year. They, um, they just came together and to do all the things that they accomplished. Highest offensive efficiency. Team that committed the least number of fouls during the year. A team that got to the free throw line. Um, so these guys played 30 some games that way and uh, just unfortunate that this one had to be played out that way. It's hard to see it right now, but you know, the relationships we built with each other, you know, that's the stuff that I'm proud about. You know, we had a, we had a heck of a season. Um, the stuff we accomplish sometimes, you know, life's not fair. This is what, you know, this is not the outcome we envisioned. You know, we, we knew we were going to win, and it just didn't happen. I think it was just down the stretch. We didn't execute. We didn't score on, uh, I think, our last 15 possessions. We had nine points, and you can't win a game like that, you know. Um, Duke did a heck of a job down the stretch, made some tough shots, and, uh, you know, credit to them. The amount of confidence that we had, um, you know, the belief that we had that we were going to, you know, pull this off this year and win this, and to be as uh, as close as we were, it's kind of um, hard and still hard now to, you know, actually see that, you know, we're not still on the court celebrating and in, uh, in the confetti and, you know, all the exciting things that comes along with that, but... Um, you know, that's what you have off seasons for, correct those mistakes and work on it, try to get back next year. Nasser goes back into Kaminsky, pivots in the lane, spin move off the left shoulder, throws to Koenig, fakes the three, back to Kaminsky, takes a three, straight on, straight in. Kaminsky from distance. He was tough. He tried to play hard. He, he uh, fortunately, there were a lot of timeouts, so he got a chance to get some rest. And he, uh, and he's going to get even better, but his, what he did in his years at Wisconsin will be remembered for a long time. It's tough to say anything right now. Um, these guys are my family, and I mean that literally. I don't mean that hypothetically. Um, I've never been closer to a group of guys in my entire life, um, from the coaching staff on down to every single player on this team. Um, it's just going to be hard to say goodbye. You're not just teammates with these guys. Um, you know, you're going to be doing stuff with these guys the rest of your life. Like last summer, um, you know, Jared Berger and, you know, had, had, a, had a wedding. And, you know, I was a freshman when he played, and I was invited, me and Joe Walter were invited. And there was guys from four years ahead of me there. And, and you know, that's the type of thing Wisconsin basketball has, that, that brotherhood. And, you know, there's 40 Wisconsin basketball players there. And then, you know, throughout our futures, you know, these guys are going to be involved in everything I do. And, you know, that special bond that you, that you build is, is something you can't really describe. And, um, you know, you I go to war for these guys. You fought every night on the court, and um, we've put so much time together, and, and, it, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, you know, to go sit back and, and realize that the guys you have around you.